If you've been following the channel, you know that we're big fans of the Ambernick RG35XX over here at Bono's Gaming, but this little retro handheld does have one small issue that I want to help you remedy today. If you've installed Garlic OS, you may have noticed your device getting stuck on the logo screen as it boots up, just like I have. Let's fix it. Here on Black Serif's Patreon page, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the change log where you can download the OS files, you'll see a note that says, known issues. But there's only one bullet point, so it's really just one issue, isn't it? And that's pretty impressive. Like seriously, <laughs> I'm impressed there's only one. And what it says is, some units get stuck on the Garlic OS boot logo. This seems to be a hardware issue of sorts that can be remedied by removing the back of the device and disconnecting the battery connector for 10 seconds to let the PCB fully discharge. Just pressing the reset button doesn't seem to be enough. Now since the RG35XX doesn't have a battery cover and removable battery like the MiU Mini Plus does, which I cover in my review here if you're interested, we have to actually disassemble this handheld. I know from a lifetime of experience that most people are nervous to take apart their electronic devices, so I'm here to walk you through it. To do this, you're going to need a precision screwdriver set with an H1.5 hexagonal screw head. If you need a set, you can help support the channel by purchasing one through the link in the description at no extra cost to you. Once you have that, you're going to remove the SD cards. Make sure the device is off by holding down the power button for a few seconds. Then flip it over and remove the six screws located on the back of the device. I think these are identical, but just in case, I kept them located on my desk in order. After removing all six screws, you'll need to use a small flathead screwdriver to gently pop the front and back halves apart. You can start at your TF2 card slot and slowly work your way around until it's free on all sides. Be careful not to lose your side buttons as those will fall out. Once open, you'll see the battery here and you can follow the cable to where it's connected to the motherboard. Make sure you don't have any static buildup in your own body before touching the motherboard. Then gently wiggle and pull the cable free from the socket. While you wait 10 to 15 seconds, you can check out the other components like the rumble motor for force feedback, the HDMI out port, the trigger button rubber membranes, and the mono speaker connection. Now it's time to plug the battery back in. Make sure the outside buttons are in the right position and snap the console back together. You shouldn't have to press too hard. If it doesn't seem to fit, then don't force it. Double check that everything is aligned properly. Now put the six screws back in. I was interrupted and had to come back the next day to finish, so wardrobe change. <laughs> Now let's hold the power button for a couple of seconds and see if it works. And voila, we have Garlic OS working on the RG35 XX. Hey, if you love video games and found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to be reviewing this soon, the Ambernick RG35 PS, and you won't want to miss it. Stay kind and encouraging out there, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.